I'll just yeah let's just start and then something's gonna happen yeah totally so one of the the big insight well i mean i've i've been speaking into this for several years but it's coming through really palpably right now because i feel the the collective unified consciousness awakening to this realization of true oneness and mm -hmm. synchronization with the self and so uh, for us to actually realize global unification a depth coherence has to happen at the sov at the level of sovereign individuated self first and so we're in this profound time where we're all recognizing that we're all one so we're looking out and we're just recognizing facets of our own mind our own consciousness our mm -hmm. own our own interbeing fractalize out onto the movie screen of our life and we're starting to find a unification within and go okay so i'm always engaging with the self i'm always engaging with the source and in the context of this synchrony that's happening within realizing like coming into radical alignment in our lives mm -hmm. just to keep it simple is what what am i actually in deep integrity with what am i deeply synchronized to what is my truth what is in mm -hmm. flow for me what is mm -hmm. in harmony with my being in dialing yes all of those beautiful facets of our life in at a, an even greater depth than ever before which is so extraordinary because it's so you know, talked about this super natural because it's so effortless it's so organic and it's so liberating yes. to, to, to literally just go, okay, everything in my life works when I'm in harmony with myself. And so I'm going to choose things that I'm yeah. in total harmony and resonance with across the board mm -hmm. in my life, you know, and this is pertinent to, you know, all the way from the micro level of the nutrition, you know, mm -hmm. the, the, what we ingest, what we, we eat, what we listen to, what we select, um, to surround ourselves by in our environment, our relationships, our life, our, our yes. lifestyle, our service, all the ways mm -hmm. that there's that alignment there. So there's this gorgeous <clears throat> invitation for us to all um, come into deeper alignment with our truth. And the magnificence of this is that the more that we just do that and we just give that to ourselves yes. and we're fully, completely, radically honest about what do I actually want? Not what do I think I can have, not yes. what do I think that is available to me, but in the realm of infinite possibilities mm -hmm. and potentials, what does my soul want? Mm -hmm. What is that, what is aligned to the richness of my heart? <laughs> you know, what does that world look like? What does that reality look like? And stepping into that and starting to just gracefully orbit out of the sphere of of things that aren't in that perfect synchrony anymore and that's an ongoing process in creation mm -hmm. we're always dialing and refining and orbiting and flowing into these mm -hmm. new worlds um, but never before have i experienced such a or you know, seen other people experiencing this too such an exponential accelerated rate at which everything is landing like yes. massive things we were talking about this it's easy it's as easy to manifest a castle as a button mm -hmm. literally mm -hmm. and one of the things that i just manifested in my world is a castle <laughs> like not a not a little literal castle or a little kind one. of a literal one <laughs> kind of kind of kind of a literal <laughs> castle yeah it's, it's pretty, pretty literal <laughs> <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. uh, and just because that's my truth and that's what i want and that's what i've been dreaming into being and i yeah and when we allow ourselves to desire what we truly desire instead of getting if you know so what i'm essentially getting to the the point of here is that a lot of the resistance to our own creation to allowing to giving ourselves our own creation is starting to orbit out of the collective field of intelligence itself so there's way less friction in our flow and way less of a time lapse between where we are and where we want to be so it's just even the moment so these beautiful subtle moments of ecstasy where we go within mm -hmm. and we're cultivating our vision and we're feeling the warmth and the bliss and the ecstasy and the beauty of being connected to the truth of our soul mm -hmm. these things are manifest like worlds dropping into worlds mm -hmm. is the way that i experience it here <laughs> <Girl. laughs> 
what it is. It's like I'm living in this world and I'm going into this space to utilize my inter technologies, my imagination to open up into the field of multidimensional possibility. I'm going to select one thing and I'm going to feel myself in the visceral yes. experience of that reality. And, and then once you're done with the visioning so you just live, you just live in your joy and your, you know, appreciation of the here and now and creating all that you're guided to create and engaging your intuition and just living life. And it, boom, it just drops a world within a world, just right. like phases in yes. to the hologram. Yes. And it's beautiful. Like, yes. Sometimes <laughs> I wish, because there's so much magic that Grace is... I think that grace is all of our path. Mm. When our perception is open and we can truly see in every moment, there is magic and grace mm. sprinkled upon our path. And some of these things, they're, they're just so abounding and so abundant. It's like to want it to give and to share the experience mm. of what, what is actually landing and to even just have the, the physical representation, which is also you know, it's, it's ultimately a creation of what is the work that is done in the etheric planes mm. and brought through into the physical. It's just awe-striking and captivating to, to go, this is how exquisitely easy it can be to it's manifest fun. something in this magnitude. And it's so fun. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, what I was feeling as you were speaking is micro-attuning. Mm -hmm to your exquisite truth right the micro attunement to our the intricacies of our exquisite truth mm. Mm. in every moment in every area and the inner all that is needed is that inner uh calibration or attunement or landing upon the flavor, <laughs> <laughs> the frequency, the flavor, and just knowing, knowing that that is the truth. Mm. That is so. That is the truth. There's, there's actually nothing else that has to happen in the process. That's it. It's just the recognition of this is it. Mm. This is what this being desires right here. Here it is. Here it is. And it's this, the sustained, but not through any force. It's just that the being sustains its knowing that that is the truth already. Mm -hmm. That the desire that appears to not be here in the physical yet, um, that's what it appears before it has manifested, but that, the that it is already true. And it's the knowing of that deep truth within mm -hmm. and the landing on and feeling the joy and ecstasy of experiencing it now <laughs> in our beings and that's literally all that has to happen for it to appear and that that is ecstasy right that uh, that's being in the ecstasy already oh. because that's the desire and landing in the desire that is an ecstatic joyful playful fun process oh so and this is so it's speaking into you know we talk about motivation inspiration and how do we bring that online in every single moment because it's it seems for most of us we'll have these peak moments or these moments of inspiration or these these even days or weekends or weeks or even months of just full-on peak thriving and living in that highest potential frequency that is accessible to us. And then there's either a crash mm. or a need for an integration, or how do I keep the, the momentum going? Mm. And, and it's, it's, just, it's a kind of a motivation or an in, I like inspiration because it's literally in spirit. So we're living in spirit, we're living in connection to spirit. And it's less of an outward pushing and an inward arising oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. that happens mm -hmm. and it's, from the sustainable yes. access to that is from exactly what you're speaking about and knowing yeah. that just the access point of attuning to that frequency and living in that vision 
in your interworld yes. and carrying that frequency through is all that is required for it to land. Yes. yes. All that is required for it to land. I'm going to yes. say it again. That is all yes. that is required for it to land. <laughs> yes. Because we have conscious, and, and this is also where, you know, we'd love to just amplify the remembrance that you are God because yes. a lot of the constructs and limitations that we have designed into the, you know, maybe the collective avatar, the collective mind, or these stipulations that we have put on ourselves. So the first question that I would ask you is if you're God, what kind of stipulations would you put on yourself for you to have your desire? Would you simply, simply allow yourself to have it mm -hmm. because you are the source yes. of creation? All right. Yes. <laughs> I want to be like, amen, sister. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> you know, well, so it's a great way to evaluate our own constructs and beliefs and to see where we generated those if it's societal if it's conditioned if it's pre-programmed if it's self-perpetuated mm -hmm. and why we do that and a good way to look at that is would i place this stipulation on god right because when we do that to ourselves that's exactly what we're doing yeah and this is the pers this is the um this is the insidious um misperception of separation that mm. god is something out there even even though we know we are infinite there's still i feel is a deeper embodiment to go to land in you're the actual god <laughs> the actual god yeah. <laughs> like there's no separation between you and god literally mm -hmm. or you and anything Yes, exactly. And that, the, so, okay, this is beautiful. So going, so anyway, the spark of motiv motivation of continuous inspiration is that just visioneering, mm -hmm. asking, aligning, mm -hmm. feeling is all that's required. Mm -hmm. And so it's just a matter of how much resistance do you carry in your own being around allowing that to be the eloquent simplicity of it and the truth of yes. it. In, in letting all of that resistance right. go so it can actually mm -hmm. phase into you. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel a big part of that is landing in the very deep perpetual knowing that you are actually God, that mm -hmm. you are actually infinite, that this is actually the truth. Like, yeah. like that there is nothing in the way of anything. Yeah. Unless you want to create something in the way. Right. <laughs> That's the only way there's going to be because everything is created from you. And everything is already actually created. Also. And everything is created. It's just a choosing of a dimension where your, that particular desire exists or that particular um, embodiment of who you are exists. So, yeah. Oh, it's so, good. so I love to call this selecting timelines frequently. Mm -hmm. Because in the, the hologram and the eternal now, imagining each facet is its own frame, dimension, timeline, plane, selection, where we can literally select these realities that are already yes. pre-fashioned. That's right. In the exact state that you want them to exist in. That's right. And all you have to do is attune to it yes. and select it. And then it, it happens. You don't have to actually generate. No. Yeah. No, it's a it's an inner choosing, and for me, it feels it feels as simple as this. It's a landing upon. Ah, it's like a, making contact. So, yeah, this is again letting go of that kind of maybe the more attraction mindset that you have to like maintain a something to like be attracting something in. It's actually just a be, for for me the way I experience it in my own process. It's a becoming of. It's a knowing that I am that. Mm -hmm which I'm creating, I am, I am the person that has what I am creating. I already am that. Yeah. I already am the person that I'm choosing to be. It's already here because yeah. anything and everything is already here. It's just a choice to land in it yeah. and to consciously know yourself as that. And as you consciously choose who you are and what you have and what is created, that's how it manifests that's how it comes into it out there yeah. and it has to it actually it has to there's no way that it can't mm -hmm. and so it's a 
so another way to look at like the being, because even in the context of, uh, so this is one of the fascinating things that I've loved to explore. So I look at people like Eckhart Tolle, I look at people like Tony Robbins and, and Donald Trump, and all these different people who are manifesting and having an impact mm-hmm. on a massive scale mm-hmm. in the, the very distinct and unique flavors mm-hmm. to their style of creation. And just observing what's really active in all of those spaces and deciding which way I want to create in my own experience. And so the beingness, mm. and Donald Trump was the, really the one, and I can I did have zero um, resistance or like around, around him. I just, I think he's actually a very great teacher <laughs> for all of us. One, he's an example of, total self-love. The man has no resistance to himself whatsoever. And he completely believes in everything <laughs> that he's doing, whether or not we may perceive it as, as correct or incorrect and all of this, mm. but he has no resistance to himself. Mm-hmm. So he mm-hmm. chooses and he decides mm-hmm. to allow himself to have the thing that he wants to have an experience. Mm-hmm. And so it happens for him. And so when we're talking about being the thing because and so i'm looking at him too and i'm going he's not necessarily the most holy right. sanctified be you know i mean he is at this at the god source level but on at the level of behavior and choice we may not perceive that to be the case in in some instances and so with that awareness going okay so how is he freely creating all of this and he didn't have to become a lot of yeah. what we in society say we must be in order to have a true so experience. True. So that's just been a fascinating area yes. of research. Mm-hmm. And even so, and then bringing it back to Eckhart Tolle too, he's not doing any pushing and pulling. Mm-mm. He's not pulling Mm-mm. and magnetizing or, and drawing in. And he's not pushing out and projecting. Yes. But what he is doing and what Donald Trump is doing mm-hmm. is they're resonating. Mm-hmm. They're resonating the reality that they want. They are yes. full yes, yes, in the resonance yes. of that reality, and that transcends. You know, when we talk about transcending rules, or you know, something that we're talking about. It it transcends all of our mind constructed paradigms around what is possible and how it is that we create our experience. And so, it's just a simple matter of how do I resonate when I'm in that reality, when I'm in mm. that vision? How right. do I feel? What am I experiencing? Because we'll always line up with the reality that we are resonating at. And that's a beautiful mm. way to, to pick your reality instead of just <laughs> to choose. Instead of, um, and I mean, this is beautiful to use our vision and we think mm. in, in very like concrete right. um, terms of like the thing that we want but like up here right mm-hmm. but what we actually want is to experience a feeling in that zone so imagining that you want to manifest a castle or you want to manifest a a group of beautiful sacred beings to co-create with or mm-hmm. if you want to manifest prosperity or you want to ma- manifest a marriage or all of this how do you feel right. in that vision and then you just cultivate the felt isness yes. of being in that vision, and automatically you will align to that frequency timeline and all the beautiful characters and and what I'm sure like adornments is the word that's coming through, but all the gifts that come yes. with resonating in that field and in that yes. sphere. And that's really what, what you're after. And so then you're in yes. this reality now where you've got a gorgeous husband who loves you unconditionally and it's easy and natural and it flows and there's no resistance and everybody's just in their full expression of self. And it's fun and it's playful and it's lit. And it's all the things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's passionate. And it's, yeah, you go on. And on, and on. It is surrounded by community where not only can you be in your full brilliance and your full expression, mm-hmm. unbound and uninhibited, mm-hmm. fully open, fully expanded, fully audacious, mm-hmm. but you can allow your genius to flow through the core of your heart uninhibited and all the multiple dimensions of your expression mm-hmm. are celebrated, encouraged, embraced, yes. 
Yeah. So freedom. Yes. You know, <laughs> freedom is a good resonance to practice. Mm-hmm. Visual alignment with mm-hmm. reality is the allow you to be free yes if you have all these these rules and these boxes around yourself and you'll align to realities that reflect back to you all the ways that yes. you've caged yourself in and i've done this <laughs> for sure <laughs> um and and so just selecting uh based on on resonance and on frequency mm-hmm. and being a full yes to how we how we want to deal yes <laughs> yes yeah, and something's coming up for me that you and I haven't talked too much about. And it's around, um, so landing in that inner knowing that this is it, this is what I want. And, and, mm. and constructing the intricacies of like, here's how, so for example, um, a relationship, an intimate relationship, there's going to be a lot of different dimensions and aspects of the relationship that you can visit within your own being of how it feels like and you relate with your partner in this way and this way and this way and you construct this experience within and you already know and feel and land in the truth of it and something so amazing about manifesting this is the point I don't think you and I have spoken about this is that when it appears there is still a level of surprise (laughs) and joy and elation. And there's a simultaneous, yes, I fully consciously created this and, and oh my gosh, it is here. Mm -hmm. Like it's here and it's showing up and it's reflecting back to me all the codes Mm. that I embedded it with. Mm -hmm. and so I I'm definitely in that experience right now of like receiving the creation and I I did create it so almost you would think it wouldn't be a surprise like I (laughs) knew exactly what I was doing in my creation process I I do know exactly what I'm doing in these in the creation process and yet there is still this utter joy (laughs) and excitement and just like awe yeah Yes. And wonder to see these creations literally appear and relate to me just as I and anticipated. Anticipate. So there's there, there's the how I anticipated, but also there's the surprise. And that's the beauty of life that we get to relate to life in this way. We get to totally consciously construct it and then we get to be blown away also <laughs> get to be blown away yes mm. it's so good it's a, oh that is really where like the majesty and the wonder and the awe comes online because it's like you know, when you're in your inner world and you're 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 engineering your reality or your your connection to the frequency of the reality and call it many different things <laughs> it's one thing to just be in that space but when it really physically lame oh it's such a sacred <laughs> beautiful enchanting i mean to me that's like the feel like how we get to see how powerful right. we are as creators yeah and how simple and beautiful yes the process can be and there's such a well there's a sweetness and there's an innocence and there's an expanded you know it's just like being in that force field of absolute peace and marvel and wonder and gratitude for the the actual ease that is accessible to us it does not have to be hard hard is a choice no. hard is a choice and i deeply empathize with those choosing hard because i chose hard mm-hmm. for a very long time but mm-hmm. when we really connect to the truth yes. of our nature and of our quintessence yes in the ease of this yes. we don't ever have to experience the hard no again Mm-mm we still do things we still utilize our faculties we're still active and passionate and engaging with life but it doesn't have to be Mm -hmm. an uphill climb it's more like a positioning at the the peak you know like a cascading down Mm -hmm. (laughs) like flowing down yeah Yeah. you know it's less of the the arduous Mm -hmm. hike yeah Um, and then just micro adjustments where needed like if a little micro adjustment back into oh no I'm infinite. Oh, my infinite nature. Oh, right there. Oh, right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And even finding, well, you know, there's a field of knowingness, but 
there's something in my own psychology that this really works for is the word trust. And mm -hmm. I think that this can, is something that is easily accessible to all of us to rapidly reorient our field. So if we find ourselves in patterns or when we do need to readjust or dial as things arise and come up, it's like, wait a minute, <laughs> everything is God. I am God. I am everything surrounding me is me, is the yes. source. And I can actually just melt into trusting the fullness mm. of my creation. And in that that mm. single choice, in the the allowing of ourselves to melt into that and expand our energy expands and it shifts the whole field automatically. So anything that we may have been creating resistance or friction with, or anything that we may have been worried about or making hard on ourselves and it didn't need to be, we can melt and reorient yeah. very rapidly by just, right. you know, the, the sacred portal, the, the breath, the breath is such an, it's, well, I mean, that's why we're alive and animates us. <laughs> the breath, <laughs> but, kind of, you know, how we're, we're beating and, and living and dancing. Mm -hmm. But you, how often do we forget to breathe? And just that exercise of going in and just, you know, 30 times to just give, give that to yourself. You will reset your entire system and turn your brain on. You'll get oxygen and blood flowing to your brain and your body. You can easily reorient and you can return back to the space of all is well. And that's right doing it here orients the whole quantum yes. field and so you now just shifted your reality so anywhere where you might have created an external experience to mirror mm -hmm. that hardship like okay you're believing hard so i'm going to give you all these beautiful ways to to show you that <laughs> to show you hard because that's what you're asking yeah. for on the inner realms but if you want to shift that we can start to cultivate and practice mm -hmm. the space of ease and trust and pure flow, which is accessible directly through the breath. And if you find tension starting to accumulate in the body, returning to the breath, returning to a space of deep calm, and then moving back into your creation from that point of reorientation. And so, mm -hmm. so it's really becoming mass. It's like silk. It's learning how to, like mm, yeah. silks dancing, mm -hmm. learning how to masterfully navigate flow like silk yes. so you can see where you're starting to disconnect from yourself, your body, your truth, mm -hmm. your, your reality, and ultimately what you know to be true as the divine infinite source that you are. Because that's all that is, that, that's the only thing that creates the discomfort is when we're disconnected from that truth. Right. And so we can start to notice where that's happening. And, and there's so many beautiful, delicious, natural, easy, fun ways to reorient rapidly and so the sooner we catch it, the sooner we can yes. reorient. And that's that, that dialing. And eventually, we start to actually flow friction-free through our lives. And this is an ongoing, you know, it's not just like a peak in a valley or a high in a low. It, it becomes a new normal. And then we go into a space of going, okay, so now I've reached this new space of normalization around how open I'm willing to be, how mm -hmm. much flow. I'm allowing myself to house and express, mm -hmm. which is, is directly correlated to how much abundance we experience in our lives on all levels, all, all the kinds of abundance, like literally living in the vortex of synchronicity in love and beauty and, and money and travel mm -hmm. and gifts and opportunity and connections and events and all the, be all the magic that is literally sprinkled like gold across our path. That is all around how open we are to allowing our flow to course through us and allowing ourselves to express it out. And the, the return of that abundance is natural and automatic. We don't have to make any of that happen. It just does. It's a natural function of life itself. And so we get to then play with, okay, I've opened up this much. I've allowed this much. I'm allowing myself to receive the castle, the lover, the prosperity, the health, the well-being, yeah. the energy, the connection like, ooh, to my power. Open some more. Yeah. Let's open. Ooh, okay. <laughs> we're gonna go. Ooh, we're gonna open even more here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I feel like for you and I, it's part of the desire to create this container. Mm -hmm. It always comes through as an immaculate container when I feel into it because that's 
part of what we're doing is we're we're saying like here is the immaculate container for you to step into and really remember mm. that all is right here in every moment right at your fingertips and we want you to remember mm -hmm. and remember and remember and remember and integrate and live in that knowing that it's right here and when so when i feel into this this program that's i feel that i feel the sacred sparkling yes. space <laughs> so that is white. like come come in oh come into this container where you can remember and land in over and over again and embody this truth that all is right here for you mm. and you get to just choose and us standing there and and reflecting that truth like yes yes you get to just choose we see you choosing you get to just choose it yes yeah, go for it like okay. you can have that too you totally. can have that too it's like a magical yeah. like it's an elixir it's so fascinating <laughs> when i was in mexico one of my beautiful beloved goddess gal friends was just like i just see people coming to you and you've got this kind of like cauldron and you're like stewing up these magical tinctures and you're just giving it to them and they're dancing off with like stars <laughs> Like in their way, you're just giving them this so magic. True. And it's kind of like, because we're all here. We're mm. all, we all know this. We all have this understanding. It's, it's all built in. We're all playing with it. We're all practicing it. We're all masters at it already. But there's something really magnificent that happens when we come together yes. in the same field. And we actually just connect not only eye to eye, but heart to heart and soul to soul. And we're all just elevating frequency together. And we're, we're fertilizing the field and the the, the rate of so two, where two or more are gathered, the, just the, the rate at which yeah. things can land for everybody is so exponential just by virtue of us all being in connection. Yeah. Even if there was, even if the transmission was just the telepathic soul level, quintessential transmission, no words, no nothing, that unto itself would be a potent, palpable enough yes. catalyst yeah. to, to, move things mm -hmm. to, to get things shifting into harmonic congruence and alignment with that's right each of our highest because we wouldn't be aligning if our souls weren't <laughs> resonating in these planes in these dimensions already and um oh what was the oh yeah 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 so it, again it's bringing me back to the, the donald trump and eckhart tolle what, what they both know to be true about themselves is they they accept their own perfection and so when we're speaking of stepping into an immaculate mm -hmm. container, it's the realization that, you know, the quote Zion, the paradise, the heaven on earth, mm -hmm. timeline, mm -hmm. reality world mm -hmm. already exists in its absolute perfected full mm -hmm. state. We don't have to engineer it. We simply have to select to, to live from the, the perception and the felt yes. resonance of it and everything out here calibrates yes, to yes, it yes, yes, and yes, all yes, of yes. our our inspiration our creations our actions are arise from that place so everything naturally aligns so it's just it's even actually just attuning to a whole new world of and this is really really probably quite revolutionary for so so much of the leadership in the transformation community. And I've really been sitting with this in my own being for a while because our greatest responsibility and and in all of this as 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 guides and leaders and even it's taking on that word sometimes because it's we're all just source. Mm -hmm. We're all source. We're all masters is to hold one another in that space and to hold the world in that yes. space is our greatest responsibility and so the notion that you are becoming mm -hmm. perfect or you are becoming a master or that your perfected divinity can somehow be improved upon is wild <laughs> from the point of knowing your own perfection our own perfection then we enter into a pure creation journey. Yes. So no longer are you trying to self-improve or fill the void of not enoughness, of becoming more than you already are, which is yes. impossible because right. you already are everything. 
But from that point of, I am everything, I am all timelines, all potentials, all possibilities incarnate, Mm -hmm. I am the source, I am perfect, I am whole, now what do I want to create? And it just shifts the dynamic entirely because it's now coming from a a pure and whole connected place instead of the disconnected, trying, rowing the boat, climbing the mountain, feeling like there's something maybe wrong or that something, something, we're trying to get something that we don't have. Yeah. When we simply have and are everything already. Yeah. It's now perspective versus some sort of separation perspective of I'm this now and there's something over here that I'm going to become. No, it's all right here. Yeah. Yeah. And there's something I wanted to add about us um, creating the container as well and doing this work together, which I know you'll resonate with. It's just it's fun to play together. (laughs) It's fun to come together with people who are, you know, where we're all exuberant and excited and open. I mean, think about when you and I get together and just like the joy and expansiveness that comes from, because our being, it's just fun. It's like, oh, yes, yes, yes. We get to play and we get to share and we get to create and we get to see ourselves through each other's eyes and we get to connect. And it's like the beauty and deliciousness of life to um, create together. Yeah. Why not? You know, we, we all create in our own little worlds as well in our solo, solo time, solo space, solo worlds. And how fun to like, come together and share and see and be seen oh, you know that's where the glory is it's yeah. like you know there is a certain depth of fulfillment that is accessed from within but to actually be so full with love that you're then now in a container with other beings mm-hmm. who are also full with love and you're just amplifying yes. and augmenting right. yes and it's like what we do for each other is we when we liberate parts of one another and we, we just enhance and inspire even more vivid, bold, yes. voluptuous HD expression of, of our true genius, of our creativity, of our poetry, of our music, of our craft, of our intelligence, of our skill, of our savvy, of whatever it is that is unique and inherent to each of us. And we, we just come into a space and we amplify and catalyze that for each other. And it's so natural and, and, and graceful and electrify it really is electrifying it's enlivening it's fun Mm -hmm. and you've got this container of support and true deep rich soulful connection Mm -hmm. and creativity and everybody's just there together and I mean this is when I started building my business this is funny this is the frequency that I wanted to bring through it and this is exactly what translates through in all of my client relationships now because we are we are like we're not just friends, even we're family, we're, mm. we're family and we send one another gifts and we connect with each other so frequently. It's just such a depth of allyship and camaraderie. Like we will always be in one another's lives to mm. some capacity, even if we pop in like That's once right. a year and we're on our own adventures. There's su- such a depth of knowingness of our oneness and our, our connection. And to bring that resonance through in, um, you know, we're brothers, we're sisters, we're mothers, we're fathers, we're, 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 we're family in this container and we're all just creating together and the whole darn thing can feel like a slumber party (laughs) with the purpose and intention to realize our dreams and, you know, the, the, the greater dream that we have for the planet and the world at large. And to actually have a, a good time, not even just yes. a good time, but like an actual like exhilarating, mm-hmm. but still a very grounded, powerful time creating all of this. There's yes. not, oh, it's just, it's just the best. That's for me, that's where the juice is. Yes. Is to just be able to share that. And, you know, I, when I was tuning into the purpose of um, life, because <laughs> I was, I was dancing through a lot of different dimensions in the transformative world and the leadership communities and the advising communities and business and consulting and all of this. And everybody had a very unique idea around what our purpose is. 
And I'm like, okay, what, what is the purpose of creation? I'm like, I want to know. <laughs> I want to know, like, what is the prime? I want to go straight to the fountainhead of the source of my soul. And I want to know what is the actual purpose of, of why we're all here and what we're doing and, and what we're creating together as a unit. And it was to realize infinite potentials and possibilities to actually crystal to continue in the process of fulfilling our awareness of self in the crystallization of our dreams and then our bigger dreams and then our bigger dreams and then our bigger dreams mm. as a whole mm. and to really bring creation alive. So if you mm -hmm. think of us as this ever emergent creative landscape, it's like, okay, we, we plant, we plant this, or this seed in the soil and we nurture and we cultivate and we till the soil and we give it all of its nutrients and it's in the womb and it's gathering all that electromagnetic energy and, and light and the potential is stirring to be released. And we start to grow up out of the ground and bloom and we become these vibrant, gorgeous, fully bloomed, radiant creations. And we're in a constant mm. state of that expansion into blossoming yes. into the fullness of our colors in such a multi-dimensional full spectrum mm -hmm. way there's so many facets to who and what we are and we're really just here to support that yeah. in one another to encourage one another to full on yeah. allowance of flow yeah. and expression and creative emergence in all moments and that's what animates us with life and allows more life to move through us mm -hmm. and allows us to also live in a space of continuous fulfillment. And, and when we're full, so this is when I went to, just to straight to the fountainhead of love. When you're so full, when you know who and what you are, and when you're embodying love mm -hmm. at the deepest levels of your being, all that's left to do is to share it. That is it. That is the purpose. That is the purpose of all life is to just be so full with our own nature and the only true ecstasy from that point is to just this so and that's the way that creation loves us it's so unconditional and it's so abounding and overflowing and non-ending it's like i love you so much i feel the love that i am i feel the love yeah. that you are i just want to shower oh, you oh yes 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 i'm so feeling what you're saying it's this the quintess you know it's like it's truly like that mut like the, the nature is yes. the nature of the, of the, the mother mm. even though it's 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 certainly androgynous in nature that intelligence in in our perception and our felt perception of what is masculine and feminine is a highly feminine energy and it is just mm -hmm. and it's so tender and unconditionally loving it could it couldn't even fathom for a moment creating any kind of harm or doing anything to withhold from you or to not outpour just itself total to overflow wellspring Oh, it's the golden chalice, oh, yeah. constantly full and constantly giving. <laughs> and so that's the ever emergent, you know, and, and everything else that we, we truly want and desire when we're living from that space. This is great. It's where we get to transcend all the paradigms of like needing to go out and quote, and there's not anything wrong with these paradigms. Like I really love them and appreciate because them all because I've lived through them and I think they all have their, I know they all yeah. have their beauty and their majesty and their richness and their wisdom mm -hmm. and their fulfillment too. But like the going out to get and to achieve and to conquer and to, there's, there's so much beauty in what that does for us and the way that it develops our character and our strength and our integrity and our virtue and all of that and our even recognition of our own capacities and what it is that we can do. But it, we, we start to shift from that space of, of needing to do that instead and, and we allow ourselves to literally unfold in just the land mm -hmm. worlds. So mm -hmm. imagining there's one moment of the eternal now there's, there's always one moment and we're moving with it. So it's like mm -hmm. we're part of this larger scope, mm -hmm. this field of perfected beingness. So this is fascinating. It's like when I was looking at the, the chart of uh, the scale of consciousness, it's so great because, you know, at the top, it's like the God view. Mm -hmm. It's the ineffable intelligence. Mm -hmm. There's no way to do It's so multidimensional and full of its own, like the, the 
ecstasy. It's just beyond, mm-hmm. it's beyond descriptions, beyond mm-hmm. title. It's just the nature of that. It, and that's the way that it works. It's like that, in, that quintessence is being drawn up out of us yeah. is how it comes through. And we're just in that bloom and we're in a space in humanity now, which is so exciting. Yes, yes, yes. The diamond age where we are, we no longer need to oscillate between any of these lower pillars. We literally inhabit yeah. the God view, the God field, the paradise, the Zion. And from there, there's all these other now layers and spirals we get to experiment with. And it's all creative in nature. So now it's less about transforming and becoming yeah. than it is about being yes. and exploring our capacities as creators. How do all of these marvelous intertechnologies work? How do my sonic energy field technologies work how does my holographic visionary psychic technology work how do i play with this how do i experiment with all the different ways that i can create and land things in my reality and we're at a place now in our embodiment where we can do that and it's instantaneous you have to actually be resonating in love for the 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 so much of this to start coming online so much somebody said this once and i thought it was a beautiful example it's almost like those, those developmental stages are necessary so that we don't like enter as gods into a reality of mm. instant creation and actualized catastrophe. Mm. And so there's this beautiful, um, that we've constructed another game we decided to play where we got to remember mm-hmm. the ease and grace mm-hmm. of our capacity to be in those fields. And then mm-hmm. we, we actually just allow ourselves to inhabit yeah that Mm -hmm. we get to experiment and play it's total freedom we just get to play with ways Mm -hmm. to create it's extraordinarily powerful and you know there's so many people who are who are doing this and i i'm really uh an advocate of just being blatant (laughs) about it it's just full-on illumination and unconditional love is all it is it's not there's no mystery there's not yeah a secret there's no secret there's no (laughs) group that knows more than anybody else we're all the same being it's just about the illumination of our full consciousness and in the illumination because light is information we reveal our own capacities and our Mm. own awareness of self to ourselves and so we now get to create in these expansive Mm. ways and we're just totally aligned to the truth of our nature and we get to go and play and utilize our gifts like in the in you know in in Egypt where they had everything so precisely dialed and attuned in the pyramids and utilizing their telepathic capacities as a unit in order to construct these these massive extraordinary constructs that allowed them to communicate and create between worlds between dimensions and we have all of these capacities I mean won't go super far out there, but I'll just get a little, a little bit. But the next evolution of us in our actual physical vessel is the shift from carbon-based mm. density to a crystalline structure and then to a diamond structure, which has a bit more strength and integrity mm. than the crystalline structure. But that's like the, the in-between evolution of that. And once we're fully embodied, in that, and, and more of our DNA is activated. We've, we're utilizing two to three strands. We've got 13 that can fully come online in our avatar, so there's so much more light and mm. potential. And in this evolution, the brain, as we start to embody unity consciousness, omni consciousness, the God view, mm-hmm. that all is perfect, it's mm-hmm. the unified will. So it's mm-hmm. the law of one. There's all these different ways that we reference, <laughs> that we can reference and do reference that, that field. What actually happens in the human brain is that the left and the right hemispheres begin to fuse and fire together. So we're actually starting to create an omni-mind where all of the survival Mm. mechanisms start to filter out. We start to actually evolve those parts of the brain. And in that, with the lightness of being, with the removal of density, it, it gives us the very real capacity to travel in our light body between worlds, between atmospheres. Mm. Now, 
you know, I mean, I'm actually not even going to put a limitation on the time for that because we're about to exponentially, if we already are, if we already think, you know, it's like by the time you, you catch the moment, boom, you're growing, you're, you're not, you know, you can't hold anything anymore. You just have to be present. There's, you know, the integration and the processing happens in the now simultaneously. If we just allow it to our, our beings got that's it, right. it's fully downloaded. If you want to drop into it and melt into it, that's beautiful too, but it's not required. It's so exponential now that it's all just happening simultaneously in the present moment. So we can just stay in that. What's accessible to us is so far beyond. It's, it's, it's like out of a sci-fi movie, but it's actually real and it's actually happening on our planet right now. And all, a lot of these technologies are being constructed and, you know, Dude, we can go way, 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 way down the rabbit hole, but I'll just leave it with that for now. <laughs> um, but this is magnificent that we're here and we're, we're literally choosing to just accept and step into yeah. these domains of consciousness mm -hmm. and, and shift more into the, the creator's journey. Mm -hmm. Because at completion, mm -hmm. you know, even, what was it, the... Oh, this is funny insight that came through. I just random downloads that come sometimes that make me laugh. Was that alchemy, even though we've all been on this deep alchemical journey and we're continuously, it's again, it happens simultaneously, like it's a process that is occurring simultaneously as alongside all other things in the present moment. The alchemy and the 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 transformation, the changing of form within our being is a natural process of living life and being in motion and being expanding beings um, is that intentional alchemy is like a GMO. We're intentionally genetically modifying ourselves. And so going in and doing some of the things that we do to ourselves alchemically, I know this is, it's funny. And it's also what I want to deeply honor. I love alchemy. I practice alchemy. I'm not in any way like, but it just can't, it's just interesting. Yeah. Clear insight because what we're doing is we're genetically right. modifying instead of allowing mm -hmm. ourselves to live from the perfect, because the seed is already right. perfect. It doesn't yes. need to be modified by that. Actually is really true. It uh -huh. needs to be allowed by us. Yes. And so, you know, and when we enter into this field, all of these revelations start to come online. It's like, oh, wow, oh, we've been selecting that. No, I've been evolving right. to something that's already so complete. Again, the omega. It's already so perfect and whole and complete. I don't have to evolve into it. I just need to receive myself yes. and allow myself, yes. ourself, yes. <laughs> to be what it already is. Yeah. And, and there's so much liberation in just living from that yes. knowingness. And so, so much of the old programming starts to just, I don't know, it almost just like vanishes. It starts to slough off, but there's not even that. It just right. becomes obsolete. Right, because what is focused on in the now is the only thing. And you almost can't even access that there was some sort of journey, transformational journey when you are it. Yeah. There, it's, it's, it's no it. longer present. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My love, it is stuck. What? <laughs> when you're writing, my love, it is done. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's so potent. It's so cool because it, it is. is. Yeah, and it is done in every moment. It is done. Yeah. And only the perception of it being incomplete yeah. is what creates the incompletion. And so yes. as a whole, we're coming back into that, that space of exactly. unified awareness. Right. Yeah, and what you're saying is the journey can be, uh, I don't know the words you use, but there's something really profound there. It's shifting from the journey being a journey of becoming to a moment by moment, day by day, choosing of again and again and again. So total, like the creation is complete in every moment. And then it's a choosing of complete creations over and over and over again as your heart mm. desires as your being desires rather than a journey to arrive to the complete creation right like oh. yes there, so there is something really meaty in there too so in that band what i picked up <laughs> like the band of information was until we're creating from a space of completion yes all of our creations that manifest will reflect back to us right. some part of incompletion that's right. and unwholeness and they will be 
unsustainable. That's right. Because they're not anchored in integrity. Yes. So if we want a creation that's fully anchored in integrity and yes. completion, it has to come from that place. That's right. That's right. And, yes. and that's the creations that we all want. Right. We want the creations <laughs> that are whole. <laughs> we want even the in the even the like human creations. We want the creation that feels complete as it is. Yes. Like even the relationship that you land, mm -hmm. it's whole. Yes. That's actually an option. <laughs> <laughs> Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. an option. Like, like it's the complete, there's no process. There's no mm. molding and shaping within. You land in the whole creation. And that is the creation that we all are, whatever the creation is, whether it is the relationship, the money, the, and that's not to say we're, our beings are going to continue to want to create again, but we're always going to want to create the whole creation yeah. or there will be a level of dissatisfaction embedded within the creation mm. and we're going to have to create it again to try to get to that wholeness. The only <laughs> way to create the whole creation is to create from the state of wholeness and a deep embodied recognition that it is already here, it is already you, it is already done and that's all, that's literal. <laughs> it's like just literal it's straight up it's not a concept it's it's not a philosophy it's like it's here in the body yeah. the knowing of completion again and again and again mm. and again and again arrival into completion and what is more ecstatic than that oh i mean yeah yum right and then you don't have to um is it, is it... yeah all the different things around karma and samsara and being on the wheel of right. creation and death and rebirth and recreation, all of that, you can actually just shift, yeah. shift over into complete, pure creation, mm -hmm. dharma, beingness, mm -hmm. and all of our creations will come through in their wholeness and their fullness. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then there's man. just more wholeness and fullness to create. Yes. This is just novelty upon right. novelty upon novelty. Yeah. And I always, it's so simple. And it seems so like, um, and almost not uh, grand or something, but it's fun. <laughs> it's, it's really the ultimate fun. Grand. It's, it's yeah, exactly. It's like, for me, that's how I orient to life. It's like, um, as creating from this space and and you know really in, an embodied mastery of landing in my being living in my own wholeness and creating from that knowing of wholeness it's like wonderful great oh. what can i create now let's just let's enjoy this let's have fun mm -hmm. i'm here to have fun mm -hmm. what else would i be doing you know like let's do that <laughs> So um, the joy of really living in this, ma this level of mastery. And then you really do get to just enjoy life. Like, okay, what flavors do I want to taste? Mm -hmm. What experiences do I want to yeah. taste? What do I want to play with now? There's so much. Whatever I can think up within, whatever I can feel within, whatever I can envision and create within mm. can be is at my fingertips it can be mine and actually already is mine so mm. let's have some fun yes and just even being connected to that mm. through all things in all moments mm -hmm. being in the that's resume right. that in itself right that's heaven total absolutely yeah that's it you know like just having this it's relationship, having that relationship mm -hmm. with your creation, with mm -hmm. life, and, mm -hmm. and all the components of it. <laughs> yeah. Well, how did that feel? It feels good, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, if you would love, 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 well, we would just love to have you come play with us. Yeah, so if you want to play with us, solaros.com slash holosphere. We love you guys so much, yeah, and we're too. just thrilled and excited to make magic together <laughs> that's, right. that's right yeah
Thank you for being here with us, everyone. Yeah, love you, love you. Mwah, mwah, More soon. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> Bye, beloved.